Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Interclimate. In this video, we will understand the importance of a hydrogeological survey and the need for a hydrogeological survey report for mining and some other projects. This reporting has been mandated for any mining projects by the Central Groundwater Authority or the CGWA at the time of environmental clearance. So let's begin the video. My name is Shalin and welcome to Interclimate. To assess the risk of water quality impacts from the project to the groundwater resources, the project proponent must submit a hydrogeological survey report. As per newly notified guidelines of CGWA, all projects related to any mining activity or any project that is extracting or proposing to extract groundwater above 100 cubic meters per day in an over-exploited, critical and semi-critical areas must submit an impact assessment report. Such reporting is mandatory for existing or proposed withdrawal of groundwater regime and must be prepared by accredited consultants and submitted along with a report on socio-economic impacts on the region. As per the Gazette notification issued by the Ministry of Jal Shakti in September 2020, two major conditions must be followed. First, all mining projects, irrespective of dewatering, must mandatorily submit a comprehensive hydrogeological report of core and buffer zone in a radius of 2 and 10 square kilometers, respectively. Secondly, in case of dewatering more than 500 kiloliters per day, groundwater modeling in a 10 kilometer radius is mandatory. So, let's understand why hydrogeological survey is required in these cases. The primary purpose of this report is to assess the sensitivity of the baseline hydrogeological environment and the potential impacts of proposed development upon it. Similar reporting is also mandatory when implementing a groundwater monitoring and contingency program in the areas where project is supposed to come up. Let's now understand the requirement of this reporting. The purpose of this reporting is to devise mitigation measures to ensure that the potential adverse effects of the project development on the hydrological environment are slight or neutral. As the mining sector uses large quantities of water, generates large amount of wastewater and has the potential to contaminate groundwater aquifers, this report can suggest an ultimate pit limit in the mining plan's depth that will have no impact on the groundwater in that area. Let's now understand the process of a hydrogeological survey reporting. As the Hydrogeological Investigation and Environmental Impact Assessment or EIA report must be submitted based on the data of the hydrogeological survey released by the CPCB, the project proponent must submit it before applying for a pollution NOC. Apart from the above mentioned aspects, a hydrogeological survey must also consider aspects such as the report must comply with the procedures outlined by the Central Groundwater Board such as the standard assessment of water quality, potential infringement of national standards, evaluation of groundwater availability, and the impact of the proposed activity on the aquifers, water quality, and other abstractors. To obtain, study, and synthesize background information, including the hydrogeology and existing borehole data, to improve the quality of assessment and identify issues that might impact groundwater scenario due to proposed activities such as setup of an industry, power projects, mining activities, etc. To carry out hydrogeological evaluation and geophysical investigations in selected sites to determine the potential for groundwater at the project site. Now, let's understand the contents of a hydrogeological survey report. The report must include information such as the introduction of the report, a site overview, methodology and results, conceptual hydrogeological model, and groundwater contamination assessment. Let's now understand the importance of this report. So, a hydrogeological survey report must be able to answer issues such as what are the groundwater flow directions, paths, and flow rates in the aquifers and aquitards, what are the regional and local groundwater flow systems relevant to the site and recharge and discharge areas? What and where are the interactions between groundwater and the surface? What is the background groundwater quality? To what extent are different aquifers interconnected and what is the role of low hydraulic conductivity zones? How and where can contaminants enter the ground and aquifer system if there is a possibility? What is the extent of contaminated groundwater and how it is defined? Now, as this report is designed to provide crucial data in case the project is located in a sensitive groundwater area, 
it must include relevant data like figures and data interpretation and analysis of Google satellite image showing open wells, existing bore wells and west locations, elevation survey, methods and reports for laboratory testing, conclusion and recommendations and references and appendices. We must note that geology and mining are evolving fields crucial to the country's economic development. However, excessive groundwater exploitation in many areas located in fragile zones have caused severe environmental issues. So if you are looking for the assistance of a certified consultant that can help you with this report, you can connect with our experts with the details provided. We at Underclimate help our clients with all environmental compliances related to their projects. Please like and share this video if you found it useful. You can also subscribe to our channel and visit our website. Thank you for watching.